This is SoCal Talk. How you doing, guys? Hello, Internet. Thank you for listening to SoCal Talk. On this, I found an article that might be a little interesting. The news is broke out. I don't know. I just seen this article. And I figured since we're having a recall election and and it's, it's very vital and crucial for you to see this. So I figured that um, that you guys might want to be looking at this article or you guys might be interested. It's an article from Newsweek regarding what's going on with Gavin Newsom and his connection with Harvey Weinstein and Rose McGalvin. Let's check this article out. Let's see this. Okay. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link in the description below, but let's read this together. All right. The headline said, Rose McGowan alleged Gavin Newsom's wife tried to bribe her before Harvey Weinstein scandal broke. And th- I need to make this available as soon as, as possible because the recall election is this coming Tuesday on the 14th. And I think people should know about this before casting your vote. You know, this is why you don't mail out your vote right now. This is, you want to wait out to the last minute, and you and it's a good idea to vote in person, not by mail. Mail is the worst way to vote. But let's read this article. Actress Rose McGowan said Thursday that California Gavin Newsom, California Governor Gavin Newsom, wife alleged allegedly tried to broke a deal between McGowan and Harvey Weinstein lawyer before the news broke in 2017 a sexual assault allegation made against the former film producer okay the former film producer a spokesperson for Newsweek for, no let me reiterate a spokesperson for Gavin Newsom's wife Jennifer Sable Sable Newsom said in a statement shared with Newsweek the allegations were a complete fabrication made by Rose McGalvin. McGalvin, who accused Weinstein of rape at the time of the allegation were made public, said she received a phone call out of the blue from a woman whom she identified as Newsom's wife, Jennifer Sable Newsom. McGalvin shared her memories of an alleged exchange with Newsom's wife during a Thursday appearances on the Rubin Report. According to McGalvin, the woman who is now the wo- the wife of California sitting governor contact Galvin McGalvin to set up a meeting in Brentwood, California, about six months before the New York Times published this investigation report about Weinstein Newsom, who was not elected governor until the fall of 2018, was the time was at times serving as a state lieutenant governor. She want to meet me. She react out to me. She reached out to me, Rose McGavin told the Rubin Report host, Dave Rubin. Rose McGavin told Rubin, she want she went to agree she went to the agree upon she went to agree upon upon location, bet she was creeped it out and dove and drove away after spotting Jennifer Sable Newsom. McGalvin claimed that Newsom's wife told her she was re- reaching out on the behalf of Dave Boye, a well-known lawyer whose c- client include Weinstein. This woman I do not know, some blonde lady with the last name of Newsom, called call, call me and is like, Dave Boye wants to know what it would take to make you happy, McGalvin told Rubin. Newsweek contacted Newsom campaign for comment and later received a response from the spokesperson of Jennifer Sable Newsom. What is being alleged is a complete fabrication, the spokesperson said. Of course they would say that. They're in defense. Why would you why would you agree to why would you violate it if you're in defense and you have a lot of stake in hand? Of course you would say that. I do not expect anything less from a response. And it's disappointing out. Not surprised to see a political opinion launched to those false attacks just days before the election. 
Their limit con- correspondence has been strictly as follows. Survivor of sexual assault and in Jennifer former capacity leading to the represent, uh, representation project. An organization that lights limiting gender stereotype and moms. Okay. Later in the interview, McGowan encouraged Ruben audience to vote for Larry Elders. So there's another endorsement for Larry Elders. One of the Republican candidates running for California in September 14th. It's coming up, guys. All right. The gubernatorial recall election. The exact, I'm t- that's why I want to make this video coming out for you guys to know this. All right. Newsom is defending his seat in a special election and could be removed from office if the majority of California decided to recall him. He just need, Larry Elders just need 51% of California votes. That's it. 51% is he, and he's out. Not no yeah, exactly and he's out. He don't he just don't need he just don't need Larry Elder vote. He need 50% 51% of California to vote yes. To recall Gavin Newsom. But I digress. Let's re- let's finish this. Vote Larry Elder. Because why? Why the F not? Mosegam said. What have you got to lose? All right. And this on Twitter. Remember when you, Jen Sable Newsom, asked me on the behalf of Weinstein, gross lawyer, what would it take for me to be happy? Newsom wife has some explaining to do. Dave Rubin. Okay, should I play this? All right, I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe. Nah. Nah, okay. Never mind. McGavin later shared a link, part of the interview with Dave Rubin on Twitter with a caption this read, Remember when you, Jennifer Sable Newsom, asked me on behalf of Weinstein Gross Lawyer, what would it take to make me happy? Um, Gavin Newsom's wife has some explaining to do, unquote. I read that already. Okay. Governor Gavin Newsom, you're facing a recall because you are a fraud. I agree with that 100%. Just like your wife, Jennifer Sable Newsom, Rose McGavin said in the video. I have to, um, I have the receipt. I wish I, I didn't. I wish you were all real. I wish you really did, did help. But, you didn't. You don't, and you're on the side of the wrong. I hope this recall goes through because California doesn't need you. McGavin continued, "The nation does not need you. I agree with that, and the world does not need you. We do not need you." And that goes on, and that's the end of the article. All right, this is. This is um new, new um I guess breaking news, right? <laughs> how how convenient, right? This comes out days before the election. You know? I I I don't know, man. It seemed valid enough if she could uh, produce the evidence, like show me the text message and the records, show me her records, you know? It might it might um it might um, discredit it. Um, Newsom's wife, representative, claim that this is fabricated. It was, you know, just produce the evidence. Then, as soon as possible, then people will make up their mind. You know, I, I wouldn't doubt it, man. Newsom is a creep to me. He just looked like, he just looked like a bad guy. He just looked like a creep, you know. And this coming days before the election doesn't look good. Gavin Newsom does not look good. You are embedded with a sex predator, Harvey Weinstein. All right, and you're supposed to be for the woman, for women's rights, and you're and you're for this guy. Sounds like a you sound like a fraud, Gavin Newsom. Like Rose McGowan said, sound like a fraud, right? Sound like a fraud. But anyway, how do you like the article? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Do, would is this enough to sway you, right? What do you think the release of this story? Is it convenient? You know, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. If you don't like, hit the dislike. Either way, the engagement helped with the algorithm, right? But anyway, guys, thanks for listening. This is SoCal Talk, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace.